I'm out of the Waterman Islands today. The idea is to chase some kingfish today. I've just got out here and the wind's just blowing up. I've already got a live bait tank full of live mackerel, uh, but I just need to get out of the wind for a while. So I'm just gonna put along here, flick a few soft baits into some washes up here on the point and around the corner until the wind dies off a bit again. Uh, I'm fishing today with the uh, the new Okuma Shallow Stalker. Uh, it's a fishing and adventure series, six to 10 kg. Um, and then on that I've got a piece of platypus 20 pound trays tied to a half ounce TT jig head and I'm running the new Okuma ITX soft bait reel. Um, so we'll just putt up into here and into these washes and have a few flicks and see how we get on. Alright so the idea here is to get in close to the wash silently without making too much noise put the uh the soft bait as close to the rocks as possible let it sink down through all the whitewash and uh if there's any snapper holding in there they'll hit it as it drops so um we're just coming up on it now so get a few flicks in But yeah, quite a bit of surge up onto that rock there and I just put that right in the right in the white water. Penny, first cast into the wash, we'll get him back in the water and get another cast in. Well we're in a bit of a calm spot and the wind's not howling, I'll just run you through what I'm using. So I've got the Cedros 14,000, um, this reel's made for catching kingies, it's got 20 kgs of drag, it's got a big power handle on it so you can really get into it and crank those kingies up. Um, I've got that spooled with 80 pound platypus braid. Uh, the rod I'm running is the Nano Matrix uh, jigging rod, 200 to, uh, 200 to 350 grams um, jig weight. Um, now, some people like to use stick baits for um, trolling libies for uh, kingies. I don't, I like a a shorter rod because once they get down and under the boat it's, it's a lot easier having a shorter rod rather than a big long stiff um, stick bait rod uh, so 80 pound platypus braid and then I've got that tied to 130 pound supple platypus leader I've got about two meters of that the sinker actually sits above the knot but it keeps slipping down I didn't make time a knot tight enough but um, run that there so sinker sits above the knot like that two meters of trace and then I've just got a small live bait hook and um, I'll grab a live bait out now and I'll just show you how I hook them up. Just hook them up like that through the nostril and out the other side. Sometimes I also put the hook through the mouth and out the top. Just depends if they're not opening their mouth I just go through the nostril but both of them um, will slow troll the, the live bait really well. And then when you're slow trolling, put your boat into gear. As slow as it will go, I'm doing about 7 k so I don't know, two knots or something. Uh, finger on your braid with the bail arm open. When that kingy grabs it, it'll just pull it out from your finger. Let it run for five to 10 seconds. Give it time to swallow the bait. Flip your bail arm over, wind up tight. 
and usually the pressure's on and they're hooked already. Sometimes if you strike and they pull at the same time, you can pop the braid if you strike them too hard. If I don't usually strike, up to you. But that's just the way I run it. I, I guess there's plenty of different ways to do it, but that's just the way I do it. Uh, seems to work. Yeah. And also, so I'm trawling around in about 20 meters of water. Also do this in um, shallower stuff like um, 12 meters. If I'm doing it in 12 meters or less, I won't use a big sinker. I won't use a sinker at all. I just um, I just have the leader and the the, um, the live bait just sits just under the surface. Sometimes sits up on the surface, and it makes for some pretty cool fishing because some of the kingies will, if it's under the surface, chase it to the surface and splash around and chase it, and it's pretty awesome visual. So get out there, give it a crack. I'm just going to keep trawling. Oh, I was a bit casual there because I thought it was a car wipe, but I'm pulling a bit too much string for a car wipe. windy so We go first of the morning probably about a 10 kg kingy um, that was the second pass past that rock so hopefully there's some more fish here and some bigger ones get that hook out look at that live bait hook hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth mouth nice fish good eater but i'm going to put it back so i get a bigger one eh sounder now as well. Sometimes 
sometimes they just go a bit harder off the get go. from the yellow tail and they get a bit freaked out and then hit give it five to ten seconds to swallow the bait switch the bail arm over you're in nothing nothing crazy just hit harder another one on the board though similar size to that last one Did. Must have had that bait right down near the bottom because he got me into the weeds for a second there. That's number two. Popped in the corner of the mouth again. <sighs> Similar size, nothing huge but good fun. Nice and health, nice healthy kingy in good condition. We'll get that back in the drink. Feel from drop that, that was a good hit too. Was it great that all one on again? Yeah, we're at all. Maybe not long enough. That was a hit again. That's a good one. Still leaving it? Alright. Still leaving it? Ooh. Still leaving it? It's dead. They got that off again. They're hitting it and then they're dropping it. I think I just need to click the bail arm straight over. Might be giving it too much time, but spit them out. Oh. The Kingy's just followed that up to the back of the boat. The line is still on, so I'll put it back down. They weren't that big. There's a couple of okay ones, but nothing huge. So we'll just keep cutting around here. Can't shut the bar off and that's what that was. <laughs> what is it? 
27 meters deep. by any man's own. Oh, see what's happened there. The hook's actually gone inside the livey and then it's, uh, that, that kingy swallowed it and it's just not hooked up. That one was saved for a dead bait. It didn't feel like a big fish but there's plenty of fish here so we'll put another one on and try for another one. Better, I can tell. Oh. Staying up high and not doing a hell of a lot of this, this fish. Oh, he's starting to pull. You can see it actually. Really high. But we've, we've definitely found the fish. Now. I'm in 27 metres of water and I can see colour so I'm not too worried, I've got plenty of time. I guess the only thing at this, this time of year is you've got to worry about sharks. But Bigger one, might have swallowed that, so just have a look. i 
similar size. Cool colours on it though. He actually, I reckon that's the smaller of the three and it fought the best. Um, it'd be good to have a few car wires now to wean out the smaller fish, you know. Um, but we're still having fun catching kingies, can't complain, eh? Get that one back in the drink. Oh, that's a wrap guys the kingies went off the bite pretty quick um yeah oh man i trawled everywhere when came back in from the islands tried about five different spots um ran over a baby hammerhead i don't think i hit it with the motor though and then um had a baby hammerhead come up and grab one of my liveys but didn't hook up then i just had a livey eaten here but i think it was a car wire been out for hours so i'm calling it quits i'm heading home but um thanks again for watching uh and i'll see you on the next one cheers